We'll get started with our first project very soon, but before we do, I want to make sure that you have a solid grasp of what Electron is, why we use it, and what some of the advantages of using it are. So first, what is Electron? What is it really doing for us? So let me give you a plain, simple English definition. Electron is a platform for writing desktop apps by using tools, languages, and design patterns traditionally used for creating rich, web, rich apps on the web. So you might ask yourself, well, why might we want to use web technology for building desktop applications? And that's a really good question. That kind of cuts right to the heart of the matter. So let's do a little bit of background and figure out why we might want to use web technology for building desktop apps. Over the last 10 years or so, we've seen an explosion in the complexity of applications created for use online. So there's applications like Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Inbox, Google Maps, and a multitude of other products that are incredibly complex pieces of software working inside of your browser. Over time, we've begun to replace traditional desktop applications with complex web applications instead. Web applications have some marked benefits over traditional desktop apps, which we're definitely going to discuss a little bit more on later. At some point in time, someone said, gee, working with these complex web apps sure seems to make life a bit easier in some regards, or more convenient, if nothing else, than producing complicated desktop applications. So why don't we just use the web for everything that we do? And so that attitude has led to this increase in complex web applications. There is one very strong technical shortcoming to running applications in your web browser, however. So they're not a catch-all, it's not a perfect solution per se. All these applications that run in your browser, whenever you use your browser to go to some fancy website, are all limited to executing inside the context of the browser, which places some strict limitations on a website's ability to access the user's underlying operating system. So this means that certain methods of input and output are constrained in the browser. So Google.com right here, or LinkedIn.com, or Facebook.com, for example, it can't access your hard drive. It can't access a lot of lower level features of your operating system. So desktop apps aren't entirely out of the equation just yet. There's still a need for desktop apps for some types of applications. And so we're left with Electron. Electron allows us to build websites that run on a user's machine with a higher level of operating system access than traditional websites. But they still retain a lot of the benefits of web technology, such as speed of development and familiar tooling. Okay, so that's my soft intro to Electron, but mostly it's a lot of marketing buzzwords and mumbo jumbo like that that doesn't really tell you a lot about what's going on behind the scenes. So let's take a quick break, and then we're going to come back and start diving into the technical aspects of Electron. So I'll see you in just a second. 